Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Save the Planet. <laughs> and a good morning it is. A good morning it is. Life's good, baby. Life is good. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. I just got up from a deep, deep, deep meditation, man. I still got my third eye cooking. Anyway, um, you saw the thumbnail. Meditate for the Ukraine. I'll tell you what, man, if, if you have been following these videos for any period of time, you know that meditation is a big part of my protocol. Uh, stress relief, meditation for weight loss, blah, 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 blah. But what meditation does, it puts you in touch with God. Okay? Your creator, your energy, your source, Krishna, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and that's the beauty of meditation. Um, it's non-denominational, and I do believe that uh, part of saving the planet would be meditate for have institute meditation in our public schools. Fifteen minutes in the morning, first thing, before they do anything else, before they take roll call, or whatever. Fifteen minutes of meditation. Fifteen minutes before they go home. Soothe whatever may be going on in, in a child's brain or whatever like that. But also, without saying a prayer, without mentioning God, without mentioning the G word, it puts every single child in that school in the presence of God without saying a word. And I think that would be absolutely... Now, I've spent 30 years of my life in, in education, more than that, more than that, about 50 years of my life. I've been teaching a long time. But um, 30 years in public school, privately in college and everything, the rest of the time. But anyway, um, yes. So I know from public schools, I know what goes on, and it wouldn't hurt anybody. You instruct the teacher to do the exact same thing as the kids do, sit in their chair, spine erect, close your eyes, 15 minutes, don't say one word about what they're supposed to think about. Don't wait. Say what? Just let them sit there with their eyes closed quietly. And a peace and calm would come over the entire school, which is beneficial in itself. But once again, it puts these children, and I'm saying right from pre-K, pre-K, have them sit on the, on the floor, crisscross applesauce right up to seniors in high school. And if an entire city made that part of the curriculum from pre-K right up to high school, the end of high school, the kids would be indoctrinated and they would do it no problem and the world would be a better place. It would have helped save the planet. I do believe that. Anyway, the mind controls the body, guys, and that's why it's such a valuable, a valuable tool of meditation for athletes, weight loss, whatever. The mind controls the body and there is no better way to control the mind than through meditation and it puts good karma and all that out into the universe um, what sort of effect that has the karma I don't know I don't know I know that when I do th uh, meditate very deeply and for whatever reason I, I start thinking about my daughter who's down you know in law school and all that sort of stuff so many times, enough times for it not to be a coincidence. I get a call from my daughter. I don't know what it is, Dad. I was, I was just thinking. Guys, it, it's a powerful, powerful tool. Now, Ukraine. I think this world, and I don't want to get political. I do at times, but I don't want to get political. Meditation should not be a political tool. But I think this world is a mess. And I think we are in an enormous downward spiral. And the only question for me is where it's going to bottom out. And I'm not, I'm not optimistic. I'm usually a glass, glass half full kind of guy when we're talking about you know, weight loss and all this sort of stuff. But this, this I find very scary. Uh, I do believe if the entire world were to meditate, the world would be a better place, an infinitely better place. I know that when I get very, very deep in 
can go on good stretches. And just like anything else, you know, you, you know, you feel good for a few months, you meditate, you go and stretch, you really feel really, get really, really deep for a few months, and sometimes, you know, you're so restless, you can't, you can't sit still. It works like that. But anyway, uh, well, for me. So, I think to meditate, find your peace, find your center, find your third eye, whatever you want to call it, okay? And spend some time just thinking, you don't have to say a prayer, and our Father, three Hail Marys, you know. Just thinking and good, giving good thoughts, good positive thoughts to people in the Ukraine, uh, to our world leaders to see how we're going to handle that and all this sort of stuff. It is a tough thing. And, you know, I think you are probably like me and that you sit home and you watch this devastation, this just despicable, deplorable cruelty to our fellow man going on right before our eyes. And if you're like me, what can I do? What can I do? Well, we can join a, you know, a protest outside the White House. You know, I, come on, come on, worthless, worthless. Can we send, you know, a hundred dollars to the Red, Red Cross? Do we open up our borders for people from the Ukraine? Who knows? There's so many things, and I don't know. I don't know what the right thing to do is. I do know that meditating every single day and wishing good things for outcome of that is not going to hurt. <laughs> it's not going to hurt. And I know that to some degree it will do good. So anyway, something to think about. Meditate, meditate, meditate. And guys, I do know this. If you are not meditating, you're not living. It is that profound and that strong a thing to do. It, it, it's an extraordinary thing to do. All right? Anyway, eat and drink your fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Add meditation to it, and the world is yours, Chico, and everything in it. Love you all.